I'm I'm just coming out of a four week injury, so I'm I'm good, but I have no lungs. I have no stamina for this. You, I want to bring you guys into in this video, literally like deep in deep deep personal, literally nice and personal, nice and close, as to what it's like to race uh, one of these race events. It starts earlier in the morning. Uh, getting into your car and figuring life out being cold as shit and excited as hell so here we go so we are arriving to apex racing center part of your day basically is going to consist in loading making sure you've got your your gallons of gasoline making sure you've got your gasoline for your motorcycle as well as your generator you need a generator and you need tire warmers today is a cloudy day so definitely need your tire warmers today you've got to be careful and especially the mornings you know right now we're getting into a really really cold morning we're going to start warm-ups at eight o'clock in the morning so the temperatures are going to differ a lot from the morning to the afternoon if you have used tires be careful if you have new tires slap them on but remember you're going to have to roll them a little bit to like get that grip on from that kind of like brand new surface you got to get a few laps in there so the warm-ups is quite important tire pressures is really important to study too because uh, make sure you get your tire pressures from your manufacturer, Dunlop, uh, Metzler, whoever it is, that, and set them right. Right now it's, for, it's 49 degrees and later on it's going to be probably 60, 70. So you just never know what the temperature oscillation is going to be from the very morning to the afternoon. So make sure you have a tire gauge with you. You can get one from anywhere. Uh, but just a tire gauge, an air pump, obviously you need your racing suit. Do not forget, and I, I cannot express this enough because I hurt my collarbone and I hurt my shoulder, your chest protector and your back protector, man. Like, listen, it's, it's, it's really imperative to do that. So we have landed. We are setting everything up. We've got the generator going. We've got the tire warmers going. We've got the suit ready to go. Um, back protector, airbags and such ready to go. And uh, yeah, last but not least, just last checks. Make sure you got fuel on the motorcycle and make sure that everything is set trailer wise and, and stuff like that. Come early, come early because time comes in. You say hi to people, you start offloading shit, you get excited, you're late, like you're gonna make it to quality, you're gonna make it to practice, whatever. You only get like a few runs to test your bike in practice and the quality in your racing. It's really important to get here early. I got here like 50 minutes as behind and they're already calling people and I'm already offloading shit. So just get here early so you're comfy, you're good and you're not making any mistakes. Uh, make sure your, t your bike is tech inspected. So make sure that your stuff is uh, safety wired. Um, some of the bolts are, they've got the, the little glue, the safety wires on, uh, on these guys. Just safety wire all the places. I'm sure you can find safety wire videos that I'll make one later for you guys to see. Uh, make sure you got fuel on your bike in the first run. You don't want to be out of, out of fuel out there. And yeah, make sure you got your warmers and make sure you're ready. And in a cold day like this, just be ready. Take, either take your bike to take inspection or just register. Hey, we're just getting here. Everybody's in the house. What up? Karina's here. Oh, that Miano, the Italian came. You're, What's up, guys? officially in this video. <laughs> What you got? What's the matter? What's in the what's in the box? We have Oh, it's just a tire pressure gauge. <laughs> the Italians are here too. There you go. In this race, you're gonna see these ladies at Apex Racing Center. You're gonna register. You're gonna register in that desk over there. And then you're gonna get ready to go. You're gonna go up to that booth. And in that booth. You're gonna go register. Everybody's warming up. Loads of 450s here. Nice. Um, you're gonna see this fine gentleman wearing this type of jacket with that logo. And that sexy man right there. And you're gonna register in these iPads. You're gonna sign your waiver. Make sure that you're registered. Uh, go check in with Serge over at the front desk for your for your tickets and make sure you register and such. And I think they're gonna put the qualifying times up there. Yeah, so that's what you do, step five. All right, so once you've done that, you come over here, like this lovely lady, Sylvia. Well, I'm doing one. both races for the picture. And you're gonna yeah, get one. your transponder. You're gonna pick up a transponder. Right. What's Hi. up, champ? This is the champ. This is the bar, this is the standard. 
and then you're gonna pick up your transponder you're gonna say hi to everybody over here and you're gonna leave your ID with them no ID no transponder make sure you have it and then you go to tech inspection right there so register with the front with the with the track folks then come get your sign your waiver and then last but not least don't forget your transponder you don't get your time so you don't qualify and then last one la really last one is tech inspection over there um, to make sure your bike works look at your calendar you're gonna start with times 8 a.m. 820 840 every 20 minutes you're gonna have your practices and your and your practice times but then after that you're on your own you got to look at the list to see which group is going in and is going out for the Lupo family over here and so yeah, you got to just keep an eye on that I dropped off my ID I got the transponder and I'm gonna slap the bad boy right about here so you're gonna to want to put in one of your fork arms farther up further down just make sure it doesn't hit the over there when the steering turns over that way make sure you have clear so make sure it's like kind of there doesn't matter where you put it left or right as long as you put it in the right place a couple of zip ties good morning how you doing yeah it's officially in so make sure you put it on any side left or right but make sure you uh, kept, get a couple of zip ties in my particular bike I just need double zip ties per loop uh, and that's it you just put it on leave it there the whole day forget about it check your times and they'll tell you where to be and where to go where to grid when you get up there just done my two practices and the next there's a new starting procedure uh, the two-wheel track they are implementing is pretty it's pretty awesome it has a light and it's like MotoGP light goes on light goes off and then you start when the light goes on you and then when the light goes off poof, off everybody goes off so they really 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 brought it this year because they've got the lap timers and the lap timing system which is freaking awesome so now there's no more issues about lap timings and the grids uh, and the grid starting point and, uh, and the starting procedure, which is absolutely awesome. No flags, no you know, things like that. It's a little more precise. LED lights going on and off. Uh, after practice one and practice two, because there are two rounds of practices at the top of the day, then you get a break. We go through the riders meeting procedures and, and flags and such and all of that stuff. Kind of like a track day, but it's got a few more notes about racing. Um, and uh and then from there you're gonna go into the qualifiers the actual qualifiers so luckily the sun's come out which is beautiful and uh yeah i'm gonna check tire pressures as i said earlier today it was like 43 degrees now it's getting into the 60s like within the first practice and the second practice you know within three hours of the day from arriving to now so i'm gonna check tire pressures make sure that the tires are uh, still in the same range um i lost the rear in practice uh, it wasn't a high side but it was a bit of a whoop Luckily, traction control or my freaking throttle saved it. Didn't scare me, which is good because it's what I'm trying to recover from, a high side that I had a while ago. But lovely, lovely reaction timing. And uh, anyway, back to practice. Again, tire pressure is really important. Make sure you have gas on your bike again. I'm gonna gas it up. Even if it's halfway or two thirds, I'm gonna make sure it's full because um, you get excited about the races and you forget. And, and check your tire pressures all the time or you're looking at our nice new uh, monitor here, if you don't see your transponder number on your in your class and open practice and you 
haven't already talked to Sergio, come talk to us. We want to make sure you're picking this. Justin Rains. Justin Rains. You get a full photography package for this, this race route. And uh, we're going to give her the special software that angles your bike even lower. So it's a lot faster. Did they get the jump shot too? Yeah, and like, like my Samsung phone, it makes me look like I'm flying like Harry Potter. Okay, congrats. So next round, we're going to do the same thing. So we'll get a uh, new rider in here. We're going to give them another giveaway. And then I'm sure Karen will probably have some more promos in the future. Uh, I just want to thank Mad Labs and their tuning for their part supply. So we don't have uh, Jim here today that I see, but we do have Vernon. Uh, is he still here? Yeah, there he is. Vernon for 73 Moto Parts. So uh, if you need parts for your Mini, definitely talk to him. So he's got great deals on Mini parts. All right, so now we're going back into qualifying. So some of the little guys are gonna do qualifying. Um, uh, and yeah, they, whatever you qualify on now in this session, uh, that's the position that you're gonna grade up for the rest of the two rounds of races that appear next. So the qualifying is important. Quick tip, I don't know if it really matters, but when you qualify, I know you're excited to go fast and you're trying to get your, your fastest lap. Truth be told, you don't want to crush and hurt yourself and ruin like the races, the opportunity to race. So qualify, send it, but you really don't want to crash in your qualifying laps and hurt yourself and mess up the bike. You can, you can mess it up, you can, you can mend it and go back into this next session if it passes tech inspection. But, um, but yeah, you want to race and enjoy that part. Another thing too is like during the races, um, your lap times are obviously going to be slower than your qualifying times. I mean, you know this, I don't need to tell you this. Racing is all about the craft, people in front, passing, take tactics to, to get there. You have to sustain your fitness for the whole race, for example. It's only a few laps, but uh, but yeah, it's just, um, uh, it's different than qualifying. It's, it's all about not hurting yourself and going fast and like fighting with the other, which is the awesome part of that. So yeah, enjoy that. Apart from doing your qualifying times and then being on the screen over there, you can download an app called Speed Hive, and uh, your times are going to be published live. I'm going to put a right here a screenshot of it. Uh, you can see the live uh, the live timing, and you can see your your qualifying and your best lap. So when you come off the track, you can uh, download the app Speed Hive, and then look for the for the track. Uh, the local track you find it through like uh, the city or what's live or whatnot and find your race and you'll see it right there so you can see it on the screen over there or you can see it through your app so it's hard to tell which session is next you see people everybody getting ready and stuff like that you want to keep an ear where's he at so connor right now has got a megaphone and he's calling the which one is coming next so you gotta always keep an ear because they call it four times they're gonna call it Halfway through the race, for, it's going to be like 20, 10 minute call, 10 minute call. When they white flag the race, which is your last lap, they're going to do a, a second call, five minute call, five minute call. And then when they cross the flag, it's going to be last call, final, last call. Usually by like minute 10, you should be getting ready. By the second call, you should be like literally ready, ready, ready. And by the second call, you take off the warmers, you put in your helmet, your gloves, and you get out so that your tires are hot. By the time the second call kicks in, you don't want to like take your warmers out too soon or too late and like miss it. So it's quite important to pay attention to those calls that that 
folks on the, on the megaphone right there. Connor is doing it right now. So he's doing the last call. So it's important to, lit, to keep an, an ear for, for those calls. And we're back from the race and that's it, my wonderful folks. We had an amazing, amazing race. Uh, ended up being fourth. You will see soon. The video was exciting. Uh, I gotta thank everybody from Two Wheel Track Days because the, the race was incredible. And last but not least, all the racers, you know, I only did one race, it was incredible. The most fun I've ever had, um, especially in the 450. And the race is coming soon, you will see. But anyway, I hope this was helpful. Make sure you tune in to Two Wheel Track Days website. Make sure you go to Minimoto Alliance uh, Facebook group to chat with everybody that participates. If you have any more questions, or if you wanna to talk to Shane or Sergio or Martin there. And yeah, that's it guys, amazing. Thank you for tuning in, staying in, watching the video. Make sure you go to 73 Motor Parts. Make sure you check Blood Racing. Make sure you check Beach Moto, by the way, and Santa Monica. And uh, that's it, peace, thank you.